What's real good, ladies and gentlemen? We are the Kissing Cousins from Off The Tab, and we are back! It's about time. It's about time. <laughs> Last week was a little bit rough. We yeah, a little tried. bit drunk. We, you might have seen from our Facebook Live, we went off the rails. We got reunited. <laughs> <laughs> we like to drink beer. We got pretty messed up at our live event we did over at Steel Make. Basically, what had happened was we went to Still Make Brewing Company, we drank a bunch there, we came back, we drank a bunch here, we were going to do a whole bunch of beer reviews, and then we just went off the rails. It's our first <laughs> time back together since, well, since I had seen you in Colorado. Yeah, that was a month, or, month and a half almost ago. Like. Yeah, so we had a lot going on. We were just like... Catching up. <laughs> it was almost just like... I don't know. It's like cleaning. Christmas, that one time when you meet your relatives. <laughs> yeah. You're cleaning the cobwebs off, man. We're just like, screw it, let's get drunk. So we had a good time. None of our reviews turned out for crap last week. Yeah, so we wasted two... Well, we didn't waste them, we drank them. Yeah. Two beers. <laughs> so, so this weekend we said, alright, here's the plan. We're going to go do another beer release. <laughs> yeah. Because it ended up so well. <laughs> yep. We went to Badger State today. They had their Buzzy Blonde that we tried. Neither of us cared for it. Oh, uh, dude, definitely not my palate. Like, that was... That wasn't... That I didn't, was unique. I didn't appreciate it. So then, while we were there, we decided... Well, we were going to leave. And then we saw that there was a big group gathering in their banquet hall. So we were like... Well, why not? Be Looks like, like a wedding. Let's go. <laughs> like, yeah, like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go crash this thing. So we went and crashed this thing, and here we are thinking that we showed up to a banquet. We we're just gonna crash it. We bought a beer, <laughs> which was awesome because the beer that they had on tap at the banquet no they, longer available. No longer food. available in their tap room. So we were like, oh, this is exclusive, <laughs> and we're sitting there just kind of joking around, laughing, thinking we're being funny. Next thing you know, it's not actually a banquet. It's like a gigantic scavenger hunt for anyone that owns a Porsche. <laughs> the next thing we know, we're walking around pretending like we own a Porsche. So, there Porsche, we are. Porsche is cheaper. <laughs> yeah, here, here we are. We are now proud new Porsche owners, allegedly. And, <laughs> and yeah, I so. like to say I own one. <laughs> We, this uh, is a great time. <laughs> so we drank a bunch of beer there, had a couple flights, and now here we are. Our beer that we're doing today is called the Atomizer Ultrasonic Infused, which is by Full Sail Brewing Company out of Hood River, Oregon. They opened up in 1987. They've been around then. Like, they made it through the boom. Well, you and said... Still here. They are part of our cake float at my job. Yep. So a lot of the bigger companies are kind of turning towards us to manage their cake float. they got a lot of other stuff to worry about. Like selling out. <laughs> they but didn't. That's Thank a big, God. That's a big thing. That's a big trend like, going on right now. Like, to get to that next level of business, you need distribution on a, a bigger level. Right. And the big companies have the money and the means of doing it. They have a hold on basically distribution market. So, it would be nice if there was a company that could come in and do the distributing for, for just these. craft beer. Yes. So that they don't have to sell out and they don't have to become one of those breweries that has that name attached to it like an Anheuser or a Molson, Co Molson Coors or a Constellation or something like that. Yeah, it would be nice, but I mean, that's kind of the way it is right now. I would like, I want to start that business. Like, I'd be a millionaire overnight. That'd be great. Delivering craft beer. I think beer. you should. Let's yeah. buy a van. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll live in it down by the river! <laughs> Alright, so this place, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information that I found. There, Well, I shouldn't say that. There was a lot of information, but not a lot of useful information that we enjoy talking about. Sustainability, like well, how, what, how they're going green and how they're helping the environment and stuff. There's not a lot of info on this company. The sustainability was the most that I was able to find. So their annual production, and a lot of this is outdated, in 2007 was 130,000 barrels a year. I don't know what that is now. I wish I could tell everyone because over a decade later, I'd imagine that has to have maybe quadrupled, you'd think. I feel like unless they're just trying to stay small. Like, you got to look at people like the Yingling sisters and stuff. Like, they actually are expanding now. We yes. did find this out. That's good news but for us because we can get it finally. Not bootlegged. <laughs> <laughs> but... Nothing like, wrong with bootlegging, I'll tell you that right now. But there's companies like that that 
they don't want to expand that big. So maybe this is one of those companies. I got this from Colorado. We can't get it around here. No, right. I have not found it anywhere. So here we are. Here we are, and I'm glad we got it. It's an IPA. We're both IPA fans. I'm more stout porter, but I definitely got to turn on these. And the cool thing about this, they got a flux capacitor that infuses the beer with the hops and stuff. Yeah. So I mean, Michael J. Fox <laughs> shaking his way into the beer world. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of the things. <laughs> One of the things that I found out about their sustainability was they use less than three gallons to brew one, or less than, yes, less than three gallons of water <laughs> to brew one gallon of beer, which most places use between six and eight gallons to brew one gallon of beer, which is incredible because it saves on water. They had an entire list of places that they've gotten awards from throughout the city, throughout the state, because of how green they've actually gone. They also purchased 140, well, they purchased 140 blocks of wind power every month, which reduces carbon dioxide emissions by over 170 tons. But it kills birds. <laughs> I'll tell you I what. mean, that's what the big protest is, that it kills birds. Well, they'll fly into a moving thing. i tell you what, it, Darwinism. All right. It, it's just, you know, Survival of the fittest. You know, it's just kind of like why we should take the warning labels off of everything, like, Drugs. And, you know, what do you need to do it? It's <laughs> common it sense. So this company, they also are like one of their mottos is it's high tech meets hands on. Okay. So I'd love to visit this place and see how high tech they really are. Yeah. Like, they're infusing their beers. Like we've done a review on Price Room, and this dude like pounded all the flavor into the beer by shooting it through. Like a vortex type thing where it just infuses stuff. Mm -hmm. And really cool. This company That's firsthand. This company kind of does the same thing. Like they're infusing their stuff and they infuse this one. That's the ultrasonic as they infuse the hops into it. Okay. So I'm interested to see what it's like. They have what, one, two, three, four hops in there that are just burst of flavor and aroma. So I haven't, like they have two hops that are. Design for that is just the aroma and the flavor. The other two are aroma. So I feel like I just smelled it. There's a strong hot presence, but there's only two hops that are actually going to be the acid and the bite on your tongue. So, uh, Cairo Citra, we've done citrus before. Yeah. And they're very well known for aroma, but they also have like a mild acidity. They're 26 to, um, are 24 to 26% alpha acids, which is your bitter. So that's kind of big in a beer. Like your IBUs that you get are on a scale of a one, one to a hundred. And this one is at a 70. That's so high. It's, it's that one of the higher be, ones we've that done. That might be the highest that we've done. No, we did. Cause when I was doing our website, <laughs> I went back and I had to watch all the videos. We did one that was like 120 and it was just, Gross. <laughs> that makes sense. It, it wasn't a good review. I watched all the reviews and everything when I uploaded to our site, and yeah, we have one that's way higher than this. <laughs> but a lot of your double IPAs are that way. Yeah. Which are smooth drinkers because of the way they're brewed. Mm -hmm. So I I picture this having a big bite to it, yeah. just because it is infused the way it's infused. I I want to see their system of how they infuse it. Obviously, Michael J. Fox ain't going to come tell us how he built that machine <laughs> to prove this. But I don't think it was Michael, Michael J. Fox. I think it was Doc that did it. <laughs> Doc, so, yeah, Doc built it. So, he, had to, yeah. he had to be the yep. guinea pig. So we're going to be the guinea pigs with this review. Yeah. Um, Mosaic Hops. We hated the Mosaic IPA we have in Breckenridge. That was terrible. Absolutely hated it. When I was in Colorado, I had a 100% Mosaic Hop beer. Really? From where? Uh, I don't remember the name. Doesn't but, matter. But that beer was actually very delicious. So I don't think it's a mosaic hops. I think it's how it's paired with other stuff. All right. Because that, that... That makes a lot of sense. It's it's berry. It's fruity. Like, this is what a mosaic hop is. It's tropical and citrus and a hint of pine. The big thing that and, pisses me off about how everybody tries to throw all of these aroma hops in there is I wonder how much it actually screws with the hops that are made... For bitterness yeah because there's got to be some flavor to them and to be honest personal opinion I don't give a damn about aroma 
Sure, oh, I don't dude, mind I'd smelling. Like, I enjoy smelling a beer, but I'm not gonna. I don't buy beer to smell it. Like your I taste, buy it to your drink it. Your taste buds and your your smell they go hand in hand. Like your flavor profiles go off your smell first, and then your taste buds. So they kind of work right. hand in right. hand. Yeah. Which is a big thing for hops because you get the bittering. You get you got to know what you're doing with your hops. They have Semico. We've done this several times. It's in multiple. <clears throat> We've been doing a lot of IPAs. That's why. <laughs> well, we like our IPAs. We also like sours, which we're trying to figure out some info on a future review right now. Like waiting on phone calls back. Yep. Like yeah, we've been calling these breweries, so we're doing our research hands on too. Like not just oh, we're gonna Google it. Nothing's there. We'll just make it funny. Yeah. Like, we're doing our research. We're calling these people to get the best info we can. Semicos. It's another citrus with some earthy tones. So you're going to get your piney and all that with the earth tones, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. Earth tones doesn't mean dirt. <laughs> so, um, Although you did say that our bartender today, you think that she eats dirt because she keeps requesting really crappy beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that's your palate. <laughs> so if there are any future bartenders out there, stop eating dirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next one is Equinox. Oh. Hops, it's a new this one. This sounds fancy. We have not done this. It's, it's not the car. <laughs> so, you know, Thank drink. God. It's you probably got a recall on it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I, I, I haven't heard of a hop that had melon until I researched this one. Uh, melon? It has melon aromas. Mm -hmm. It has So you're berry. saying Gallagher might be a huge fan of this beer. Who? The comedian Gallagher. Yeah. You know, the guy that smashes melons. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but there's melon, berry, orange peel, and lime, and a little hint of lemon in it. So this is a new beer. It's very citrusy from what I'm getting. Like, lime is the most overpowering fruit I've had. All right. Like, it, like you put it in anything, and you taste lime. I'm really excited for you to stop talking so we can try this. All right. <laughs> Let's get What have we got? We have Appearance. Aroma. Are we doing this still? Or are we? I thought we were switching this up. What do you want to do? Let's just taste it. All right. Beer for the beer reviews for the simple beer for the simple drinkers. <laughs> simple beer reviews for the simple beer drinker. That's what we're aiming for. That's what we're trying to do. We're gonna. I think it's for the complex drinker though. Craft beer is pretty complex. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Look at me. Do I, I mean, do I look like a guy that's complex? I mean, I can barely put my pants on. <laughs> well, what, stop doing it two legs at a time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, just stood up out of, I, get a, I got a ladder in my bedroom. Oh, this, that last one also has cheese. pepper. Fresh pepper notes, so. Really? That's going to be different. I'm excited. Let's try this. Atomizer. Cheers. Ultrasonic infused IPA. Ooh, Jesus. That's a big bite up front. Like, huge on the tip of your tongue. It's huge. Very carbonated. It, that's your prickly filling is the carbonation in it. Woo! Back end, nothing. No burn all the way down. Like, I like it. I, like, there's none of that <clears throat> overbearing in the back of my throat kick. No. It's, it's all up front. I love the fact that it's smooth at the end. And that there's nothing that kicks you in the teeth. It's actually a pretty high uh ABV too. What is it? Seven. 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 <laughs> For an IPA, that's pretty big. But we did have that sour today that was ten. That's true. That, that was, was a good weird. sour. Yeah, that was a good but sour. But I really enjoyed this for basically why I just said I enjoyed it. I mean... For the most, IPA? <laughs> most IPAs are going to get that bitterness. It's going to either hit you at first or it's going <laughs> to hit you in the back. This is almost like in the middle. Yeah. It's, and it, then it comes off very smooth, very refreshing, great summertime beer. Not something that I would suggest to somebody that's just starting out with IPAs. No. You're going to want something This is definitely, similar. I would compare this up to Sierra Nevada. Like, the okay. OGs. Like, that's a, it's a quality IPA. By the way, the thing that I would, if, if somebody is trying to get into IPAs, these hazies are definitely what you're going to, not, this isn't a hazy, but a hazy is something you're going to want to introduce to yourself before you dive into a brute or like a New England or something like that. I think the double IPAs is where you should start for an IPA. 
Which sounds crazy. It, it sounds stupider than hell because, it, oh, it's going to be double heavy. It's going to be double bitter. No, it's well, not. Well, no, no one's going to trust you yeah. saying that it sounds stupid because it's coming out of your mouth. But <laughs> <laughs> but it's... What are you double. giving this? What are you giving it? For overall, I'm going... I'm eight. A solid eight. I'm going 6.9. Because it's Just a give great it a seven. <laughs> no, I'm not giving it a seven. Why are you not giving this a seven? Because I have had way better IPAs. So many other way better IPAs. That doesn't mean I don't like this. I think this is an awesome beer. It's I really will good. buy this again. Oh yeah. If it ever is distributed to our area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As opposed hey, West Coast, kind of kind of kick up kick up that distribution. <laughs> like we need stuff. Exactly. As opposed to you, like. Bootlegging it, smoking in the bandit style on a semi, <laughs> <laughs> which did happen. Funny story, but yeah. I, I wouldn't. I don't want to go over seven because I don't think it's like a great beer. I think it's a really good beer, but it's not a great beer. What do you compare? What's your number ten IPA right now? Like my number the, the ten. T- like what's your top? Oh, I didn't. 10? I haven't. Sorry, I haven't updated my list lately. Well, <laughs> you gotta have something. I would say I'm my favorite IPA right now. If we're talking about the entire general realm of IPAs, is the unsettled New England IPA from Central Waters. That's my favorite. Fantasy Factory is a beer that has gotten me into IPAs, <laughs> so that's definitely probably in my at least top seven. I just don't think that it compares to either one of those. I. It sounds bad. I love this beer. It's a this great. A good, it's not a great beer. It's a really good beer. Like it's not. It's not as bold as like your Sierra Nevada. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. Sierra Nevada is like, hey, it's not kicking me in the got mouth. It. Like, there should be a little kick on the back of your throat. Just a little bit, and I don't get any of that. Like, I don't mind the kick all the way, all the way through. But I don't want it to sit there in my throat and just... Oh, that's all I taste. Right, it's that's almost like you horrible. got a phlegm in there. It's yeah, it's like, this is horrible, this is horrible. That's all you taste. It's like, I don't even want another one right now. I gave it a 6.9. I gave it an 8. You gave it an 8. <laughs> So we're going we're gonna to give it a total of five. Because <laughs> we're good at math. All right. That's another reason why we decided to simplify our whole review. Because we don't know math. Sure, <laughs> you guys want to hear about how it smells. And we might even get into some of that. But we're only going to judge how it tastes because that's all that matters. You guys aren't buying a beer because of how it looks. You're not buying a beer because of how it smells. You're buying a beer because of how it tastes. And that's what we're here for. So. The aromas are off them. Throw that out there just for Awful? general knowledge. Like they're off. They're not. That's state. That they're not skunky. Yeah. They're, that's what I was thinking too. They're not what the descriptions are. So. We got a lot going on. All right. So our website is in the works. It's almost done. We're gonna have all of our beer reviews, all of our cocktail videos, which are coming back uploaded. Make sure to follow us on our social media. Our Facebook page is off the tap. All right. It can't get any simpler than that. You already know what you're watching. So. Our Instagram is off the tap 2018. Yeah, yeah, it's not GB. I messed that up. Our email is <laughs> off the tap GB2018 at gmail.com. Seriously, this sounds ridiculous, but if you want to send us beer, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's absurd. Do it. It's absurd. Get in contact with us. We've actually had multiple people buy us beer. Yeah, that we have. Yeah, yes. that we have. Yeah, that we are going to do reviews on. People have gotten contact. They've said, "Hey, I'm at this brewery. Is there anything you want?" And I'm not picky. I just say, "Hey, whatever is their flagship, whatever you might enjoy, just pick that up. If you really want to do that, bring it to us. We will do a review on it. We will give you a shout out. We will let everyone know if you are interested in." Having your Twitter handle or your Instagram or Facebook. Well, we'll help you. You help us. Let's grow it. Exactly. We got a lot of, as he's showing right now, a lot of merch that's in the works. We haven't been together for a long time, so we're in the process of trying to get all of that situated. These are our coasters. We, we make these when we have free time. <laughs> we haven't had a beer review in a number of weeks. We pre-recorded about 12 of them. Before you left. Yeah, and some of them were if, too big that we couldn't upload, so. If you had watched movies. most of our videos, we did have a giveaway. It's still going on. We're not there. We had a giveaway that if we reached 250 followers on Facebook, that we would give away a four-pack of our customized craft beer coasters. 
that is still up in the air right now because you guys aren't sharing. You guys aren't aren't spreading the word. Get Let's get at it. We're at about we're just under 180 likes on Facebook, and if we can get to 250, if we get to 250, we're over halfway there. So this is an easy bargain. I tell you what, if we get to 250. Let's lower it to 200. We'll get there. We no. need 20. <laughs> if we get to 250, we will give away a set of coasters to five. Five different people that like our page. We will do that. We will put them together. We will mail them out. We will ship them to you. Five. I'll sweeten the deal out of my own pocket. We get there. One of the top five will get a six pack of beer of their choosing. All right. That's pretty big because beer's expensive nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> and he's cheap as hell. Oh, <laughs> no, I found out real quick how expensive it is. So, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're the Kissing Cousins. We are back. These reviews are going to be coming at you full head of steam. Steady again. We're going to get the cocktail videos back. This has been the Atomizer Ultrasonic Infused IPA from Full Sail Brewing Company out of Oregon. I'm Skinny Jeans. Let's have a take. Cheers. Still good.